Hey all. Um, hey VC, I got my puppies with me. Uh, Mandy and Cody Maltese's. Um, around six, seven years old. Great dogs, just lap dogs, they're wonderful. Um, but anyway, I did go to a, uh, a record show, uh, record store this weekend. Um, and I uh, got a f just a few albums. I actually went to two stores. And uh, actually I went to three because I got something today. Um, so I just want to show you, um, jump right into it. Um, I got Paul Simon, Hearts and Bones. This is supposed to be uh, a, a good album from the, uh, the mid 80s, before uh, 83 actually, before Graceland. Um, uh, the other one I got, oh, the store was, uh, sorry, uh, was Red Scroll. Um, it's in Wallingford. I've talked about it before. Uh, it's in Wallingford, Connecticut. And uh, the other store was Replay, which is in Hamden, Connecticut. Um, so that was uh, where I went uh, Saturday. Uh, the other album I got, and these albums were about $2, $3 each. Uh, and I think one... Five dollar, I think. <laughs> anyway, Ry Cooter, Paradise and Lunch. This is one of his better ones, uh, and this is from, uh, I guess, oh uh, yeah, this is '74. And this was two bucks. Uh, I couldn't pass that up. Um, Nils Lofgren, Grin, one plus one. So this is Nils with his. Uh, Grin Band, and uh, I just enjoy Nils, and uh, the Graham Nash plays on here. And uh, I don't have many, I don't have any of these albums, and I need to get them. So this is Split Ends, Time and Tide. Uh, this is from the, uh, you know, from the, uh, from 82, and this is an excellent album from theirs, and there's a few more that I gotta get. <clears throat> and... This is a blues album. I've mentioned him before, John Paul Haben. This is I'm Satisfied. And uh, this is cool blues. Uh, if you're into it, this guy's really good. Okay, the next one. Uh, this is a, a guy and, and a band that I uh, have to go out and get. Um, this is Robin Hitchcock and the Egyptians. And this is uh, from 19, uh, geez, 88. Uh, he had started his solo around 83. And this guy is just really cool. Um, the song on here, which is really popular, is Vibrating. You all right, guy? Um, but uh, his work is so good. He, he's such a great artist. Um, I think he actually made these paintings. But uh, he had a band before this was called the Soft Boys, which is really cool, uh, sort of a punk type band. Uh, check them out, um, listen to them, and I'm going to be looking for their albums too. Uh, but his stuff isn't so hard to get, but uh, some of the early stuff might be. Uh, where am I? Okay, so I went to Replay Records and uh, saw my, uh, my guy Doug there. I asked him if he had any... Uh, albums from Cactus and he had one one of them I was looking for so this is restrictions this is from 71 so those of you who don't know about Cactus uh, I didn't know much about it but I did do some research uh, Cactus is a uh, a band that had uh, Carmen at Peace and Tim Bogart in it they were from Vanilla Fudge the drummer and bass player just an all-star, you know, rhythm section there. Um, they were supposed to work with Jeff Beck and uh, Rod Stewart, but Jeff got into an accident, and so Rod didn't want to wait. He went on to the faces, and um, these guys uh, formed Cactus. Cactus has an out, a lead singer called Rusty Day. He was from the Amboy Dukes, and... Um, he is just a really great singer and uh, he went on hard times uh, he actually was murdered later on uh, it's a sad story but um, Rusty Day's singing on this and Jim McCarty 
Uh, I believe he's from uh, Mitch Ryder, Detroit Wheels. Great guitarist. And I just found out that this band played near me uh, a couple towns away, um, maybe a year or two ago. So I missed out on something that was really cool. But what I'm holding up here is and looking at is the back cover, which I think is just so cool for these guys to take a picture of them walking away. <laughs> And it tells me it's all about the music. There's no ego. Let's rock and roll. Let's jam. Um, so that is really cool. Um, so this was a great find. I really enjoy this music. Uh, Atomic Rooster um, and Cactus go together. Uh, Peter French played, sang, and he eventually sang with Cactus, um, etc. Um, I do want to mention before I get to the last album, I did get a book. This is 1988, The New Wave Punk Rock Explosion. And uh, this book is from England. Um, got Catwoman on the back there. Just, just cool pictures uh, going from chronological. Um, that was a clash insert there. Uh, not sure if you could see it, but just great pictures of... Uh, the punk time, things I'd never seen before, damned, the, you know, Buzzcocks, the jam, um, young Billy Idol, uh, Joe Strummer pictures. Uh, I'm just trying to find one certain one here. Um, you know, it, of course, it has the pistols, the slits, uh, just some really hardcore um, things. Carolyn Kuhn uh, is the author of this. She took some pictures. Anyway, um, there was a picture of Catwoman without this makeup, which was pretty neat. Anyway, this was a, uh, I was glad to get this. Um, so I been, went to a Johnny's, my other store. Uh, I picked this up today. Uh, I found uh, a VC um, a VC member, Emily, I think is her name, and she was talking about some newer albums. She's uh, probably uh, maybe in the young, young 20s and she works at a record store slash bookstore so I thought that was great and uh, I get to hear about some really cool bands when I listen to them and uh, the younger ones and uh, she mentioned She and Him and this is Zoe Deschanel which is the actress and uh, she has this group She and Him uh, she wrote all the songs and this is just to me it's not going to be for everybody. It's sort of female vocal from the 60s style. Um, fun, happy, upbeat, uh, just really cool voice. She sounds a little bit like a uh, young blondie. Not the faster songs, but a young blondie, uh, which, you know, I really like. So that's sort of what it attracted me. I love the song in here. Going to get along without you now. Um, this came with a download so my daughter can get this download. That's about it. Um, oh, <laughs> the guy who plays with the machine, him, him is Michael, uh, him is Matt Ward. And I looked him up and he is, has solo albums and he is just a really phenomenal guitarist and writer and, um, really enjoyable not for everybody totally not but I'm gonna put a link down uh, of, of Matt and uh, you check him out listen to a few of his songs that play guitar and um, he's a mixture of every uh, so many things Jim Croce uh, um, uh, geez um, oh my gosh I'm drawing a blank it sounds like a JJ Kale uh, um, I, I don't know. It, it's just really good. Check it out. I'm also going to put a link down there. There's a, uh, a uh, vinyl documentary that I found. I believe, um, I think it's a BBC one. But uh, it was really cool. It's a half hour long. Check it out over your uh, weekend. Hopefully you have a holiday. Uh, that's about it. So my puppies and I wish you uh, happy holidays. And uh, thanks for watching, listening. Uh, please show your videos. Look forward to it. Happy New Year! Maybe, uh, actually, I'm going. Oh, I'm going to Manhattan this Saturday uh, with a buddy of mine. Hopefully, I'm going to bring my video and I'm going to capture my tour there. So, uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye.